Hey, Star Trek fans, scientists have just discovered a sun-like star that has been gobbling up its own planets. I know. The Star Eater is part of a binary system with another star that it shares the same orbital point with. And these two have been nicknamed Cronus and Krios after a Greek god and his brother who also dabbled in eating their own offspring. The pair travel through the galaxy side by side, about 320 light years from Earth. The stars are about 4 billion years old, suggesting they were born from the same interstellar cloud and initially shared the same chemical makeup. But an analysis by a research team at Princeton University found that the twins have led very different lives. Krios has noticeably smaller concentrations of elements like lithium, magnesium, and iron floating in its atmosphere than its companion Kronos does. In fact, the stars are more chemically different than any other pair yet discovered. The only explanation for the abundance of elements not present in Krios would be if Kronos had consumed a rocky planet rich with those particular elements. The team of scientists calculated that it would take the chemical elements from 15 Earth masses, crushed up and scattered throughout the star's atmosphere to explain the star's blend of excess elements. As far as how exactly the star eats its planets, isn't exactly clear. Researchers say one way a planet or planets could have destabilized is from the gravity of a passing star. That could have distorted the paths of inner worlds and sent them careening into the star. The Creo system two light years away might have escaped unscathed, however. To test this theory, the team has started looking at giant gas planets within the solar system to see if they've stretched out orbits from that passing star. These findings are not only pretty cool, but they are important to planetary scientists who's looking at these stars to help them gain a better understanding of the universe and what it's made up of. And now you're science smart. If you have any science questions, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.